Hi guys, welcome back to our business English series. Let's jump straight back in with the rest of our tips for improving delegation. Trust your team. Now, I know some of you are screaming at me through the screen right now, but they need to earn my trust. And you are right. But remember, you have all already been getting used to delegation. We have started small, we have handed over tasks to people who have the skill set, and we've started to diversify the skill sets of our different team members too. Have faith in them. You cannot earn trust or build trust if you do not allow them the opportunity to do so. We're breaking down the language, yeah, yeah. Today we're looking at the phrase getting used to, not to be confused with used to for past habits. Here we are adding the phrase to get or to be in front of it and it has a similar meaning to become familiar with something. For example, we are getting used to handing over tasks. We do it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until this practice becomes normal and comfortable and easier for us. Since COVID, many of us have started going back to the office for work, so we are getting used to commuting again. We've broken down the language. The, the end. Now, just because you have faith in your team and you are trusting them, doesn't mean that you can simply check out. Work. I'm delegating. Offer support. Have open channels of communication and make sure that you clearly communicate goals and deadlines to your team. Have an open door policy. And remember, now that you have gotten used to offloading those extra tasks, you should have more free time to help manage your team and their specific needs. Remember guys, there is no such thing as I in teams. I hope that you enjoyed our series on our practicing and improving your delegation skills at work or at home. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the link below. I will see you next time. Thank you.